Time to talk boxing here now on Highland Radio, and I'm going to be joined by a middleweight from the uh, the Northwest uh, who is uh, speaking about uh, his victory last weekend in Mexico and is going to tell us what his plans are for 2021. Uh, Connor Coyle, it's been a while since we spoke to you. You're, you're welcome to, to Highland Radio once again. Hi, uh, thanks very much. Thanks for getting me on again. And I suppose we'll go straight to the action from, from last weekend, Connor. You had a, a comfortable victory, to say the least. Two minutes of the first round, just under two minutes of the first round was the, the duration that your your opponent, Villaba, lasted. Uh, a 14,000-mile round trip. Was it seen then as a, what would be a, a productive period for you and a productive weekend? Um, yeah, it was definitely... It was nice to get back in and get the feel of the ring again after a 15-month layoff. Um, we expected a much tougher uh, tougher fight from the guy. I know he's a very tough Mexican journeyman. Um, and the first round was our plan was just to go out and move and back, uh, jab just to get the feel of the ring again. So we didn't expect him to put away in the first round anyway, but still glad of the outcome now. Yeah, it was a comfortable one in the end, and you got a belt out of it too. So you did that you didn't know about it heading into the weekend. Is that uh, well, we just found out that the, the one of the guys organizing the show was bringing over a belt to fight for as well so um I was happy enough to, to come home with the, the ABF American Boxing Federation belt that was nice to add an old, um, so another I one to the collection for that even though I didn't know about it yeah nice to add one to the collection again isn't uh, it it's a nice looking belt to add to the collection okay then Connor it's been a, a long layoff 15 months was this break. How did you deal with that whole pandemic situation? Because uh, as a fighter, obviously, you, you'd be looking to uh, get into the ring as much as you can, particularly at the stage in the career that you're in. But uh, the, the whole thing just, just fell away by the wayside and there was there was no one-ring action from boxing, just like every other sport. A hugely difficult period. How did Conor Coyle deal with it? Oh, it was a complete nightmare. Um, we've had uh, so many... Um, times we were contacted to say they were bringing us over for this and that, you know, kinds of fights and stuff, but it was the visa that was holding me back um, and they weren't, um, I had to get an interview in the embassy here, but uh, they weren't letting anybody in to get the visa stamp, so I was luckily just stuck in a rut here, you know, I just had to keep training, to keep, keep my mind active and keep my body active but it was definitely a long 15 months and happy things are getting back on track again now yeah, just a slight delay uh, in, in the uh, the link there at the moment, Connor. But uh, you're, done, you're you're delighted to be back in action once again. The next question is going to be: When will you see ring action again? Uh, obviously, the US is a huge part of your plan, so does Connor. I um my interview for my visa is going to be in August, so I'll not be back in America until um after August. But we've just set up another fight in Mexico now in May fifth, so I'll fly back there in two weeks' time again to Cancun for a fight uh with a Colombian fighter who is um he has thirty ones, he has twenty two knockouts out of his thirty ones, and he has fourteen defeats. So um. This guy obviously must be, must be a puncher. I've watched some tape on him, and I'm happy enough to take the fight um, uh, at short notice. But um, I'm ready, and as I said, I never got many rounds in the last fight, so I'm looking forward to getting back over and doing it again. Yeah. This will be a step up, will it, from the last fight? Will this probably be a, t a tougher opponent? Well, if, if his record says so. You know, out of 30 ones, he has 22 knockouts, so I'm, I'm definitely assuming he's a puncher anyway. So... Uh, I was expecting the Mexican to be a tougher fighter because they're tough anyway. But sure, I just uh, I just uh, focus on my own ability and know what I can do, and um, I just worry about that. Yeah, thirteen and zero uh, is your professional record. Now next month you're looking to hit fourteen and zero, Connor. Um, as the year progresses, what's what's the target here? Where where, where do you want to be, and and what sort of fighter do you want to be taking on? Um. Yeah, well, we'll get this another one or two fights now in Mexico before we get back to America. Um, and then once we get back into America, we're going to push bigger fights and bigger stages as well. We would love to fight for one of them titles from the WBC or the ABF or something like that to get under the top 10 before the end of this year. So whoever's there to fight and whoever's in my way to get to that place, uh, um, I'll have no problem fighting them. So, um, 
we just have to see at the see at the time when we get to that level. Yeah, uh, Jim McLaughlin, of course, is hugely influential in your career. Connor is is your trainer, but he's also uh, your your manager. You're getting great guidance from him, but there's going to be a couple of other things is, that need to come into play if you are to progress this year. And as a promoter, one of those that you don't have at the moment. Yeah, I'm a free agent at the moment, but um, once we get back into America um, and we get we get on some more fight shows, you know, uh, promoters will probably start coming then, though, looking to sign probably 15, 16 and over at stage. Um, but we're in no rush at the minute during because everything's still sort of shut down in the world. So um, we want to wait till everything opens up so we're not held back any longer. Yeah. And... There's a bit of disappointment over the last number of, of months because you were actually to be fighting for a European title this year. Is is that correct, Connor? But the that was pulled from, from underneath you. Yeah, well we had um we made some con- or we had some contact from the MTK. We're gonna fight for a WBO European title this weekend, but um things didn't things didn't plan out then and they got a different opponent. But um I thought we had the fight and I was gonna be pretty excited about it, but um things happened for a reason and uh, it'll come again another fight will come just as big yeah um, Cahar Duffy is a man that, that you know very very well of course you, you grew up and through the amateur ranks with, with Cahar how influential has he been on your career this time around because obviously you've been home a lot due, due, due to the pandemic and uh, he's been helping you out and getting shape and stuff so he has Connor. I mean Cahar's been together um, what 20 years I think now we're training so he knows me more. He knows me better than anybody. He's pretty, pretty much the same type of trainer as Jim McLaughlin in America. So, and they speak back and forth every day when I'm training. So the, you know the connection there, and 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 uh, from the amateurs coming on the professionals and working with Jim as well, um, talking you know, every day and training. Everything's worked out well, and um, Gary just pushes you very hard. Very good technical coach as well. So, I'm happy enough staying here at the moment during the, the restrictions and stuff until I get my visa back to America. So he's been doing very well with me and I'm happy enough with, uh, with everything going on. Yeah. And there's not much downtime then, I take it, if you're back in the ring so quick, Connor. Straight back into the gym today again at three o'clock. So that's me back in training now for another, we'll have probably two more weeks of training and then back to Mexico. So it's all go. Listen, Connor, with, uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, it's good to see you again and good to talk to you again. Uh, it's been a while, but uh, hopefully this year now will be a lot more productive for you than, than what last year was. Well, it's looking looking uh, positive so far, so I'm happy, happy about that. Thanks very much for having me on, Oshin. No problem at all. We'll talk real soon again, Connor. The best talk of luck. Bye.